Welcome back to Jack Stack. Sorry for the lack of content lately on my channel. August has been a very busy month for me. As you can see, I've recently moved into a new office, so that's been taking up a lot of time. Uh, went out of town for a weekend, and also, I went to Power Morphicon. In case you don't know, Power Morphicon is a biannual convention that is Power Rangers specific that happens every other year, thus biannual. It was my very first time going to that convention, and as you can guess, I picked up a lot of swag. So coming back again is Jack Stack of Swag, where I'm going to go over the stuff I got at Power Morphicon. I had originally intended on filming this actually at the convention. The convention was actually in Anaheim, California this year, and it was a three-day event. And my original plan was to, on Friday night, film This Is What I Got. Then Saturday night, I also got this. Sunday night, I got this as well. Obviously, that did not happen. It was a very fun convention, but it was also exhausting. So I wasn't able to do it then, and unfortunately, I haven't been able to film it until now, early September. But better late than never, so let's go over some of the cool stuff I got at this year's Power Rangers convention. Now, first of all, I want to go over that there is some stuff that I got with my ticket. Uh, the tickets have different tiers, and the higher up tiers you go, the more swag you get with your ticket. So, one of the things I got, dramatic, was, oh, I got more than I thought I did. First of all, I got this Paramorphicon poster. I'll put it up there so you can see. It has the original Mighty Morphin Ranger, the Red Ranger for the new series, Beast Morphers that's coming out next year, as well as Lord Draken. Uh, Lord Draken was a big thing this year at Paramorphicon. Essentially, in the Power Rangers comics, which are being produced by Boom Studios, they create an alternate universe where the Green Ranger from the original series never stopped being evil and took over the, the world of that universe. Uh, so that's what that character is. This year is the show's 25th anniversary, and the 25th anniversary celebration in the comics revolves around that character. So he's a big deal. You'll be seeing images of Draken a lot during this. Uh, but what I didn't know is I actually got a second poster sad that it's been like two, three weeks and I haven't noticed until now, but I also got this. That's really cool. I like this. I'm going to eventually need to get some frames to put this up somewhere in my office, even though I'm running out of wall space. Uh, maybe one day, if you're interested, let me know in the comments and I'll show you the layout of my new office. But yeah, this is really cool. I like this a lot. And like I mentioned, the posters come standard with my ticket, so it really fits the nature of swag that I got it for free. Kind of. Sort of. I did have to pay for the ticket. <laughs> That's my dog. He's laying in the background. Maybe he'll make a cameo if he's not tired. Who knows? Alright, next up we're going to step away from the swag a little bit and talk about some stuff that I purchased. Um, as you can... I don't know if you can see it behind me, but in addition to laser discs, I also like to collect VHSs. I really like dead formats, apparently. So I found a stand selling... VHSs. So one of the ones I had was this episode, uh, Rocky Just Wants to Have Fun, which is a clip I have used on the show before when I mentioned Power Rangers. Like I mentioned in that episode, my dog, Rocky, who again may make a cameo in this episode, just hold off and we'll see if he does, uh, was named after the second Red Power Ranger, Rocky. And there was an episode of Power Rangers where Rocky just wants to have fun. And I used that clip in the episode, so of course I had to get the VHS when I saw it there. As you can see, it was only five bucks, so why not? Also, I got it signed by the actor who played Rocky. So that was really cool. I got to tell him that I named the dog after his character. And um, he did a good job pretending that he cared. <laughs> that's, that's nothing against the actor whatsoever. I'm just sure if a random individual came up to you and told you they named the dog after you, you probably would only care a little bit. Uh, maybe he really did care, and I'm just being a jerk. Who knows? While I was at the stand buying this, he mentioned that he also had the first episode on VHS. And like he said, can't call yourself a collector if you don't have the first volume. 
And I'm like, crap, you're right. So I picked this up. There you go. Let me show you the back of that as well. Uh, no one signed this, this copy, but it is the very first episode. If you don't mind a slight tirade, kids of my generation had to put up with a lot of crap when it comes to home video releases of shows. Because typically you have to pay like, you know, 20, 30 bucks for a VHS. And it contained like a tops three episodes. This only has one. The first episode. And it's not exclusive to this as well. This also has only one episode on it. So, you know, thank goodness for Blu-ray where you can put an entire season on one disc versus one, ep one like 20 minute episode on a single VHS. So, kudos to the 90s kids who had to put up a bat crap. But anyway, this is really cool. Another thing I'm probably going to display somewhere. And next up, an item that is exclusive to this convention. Now, I tried my darndest to not pick up any Funko Pops while I was there. I was at a Power Rangers specific convention. I didn't want to go walk away with like a Star Wars pop because I'm at a Power just because it happened to be there. I wanted to stick with Star Wars stuff. But when I saw that this was on sale, I couldn't hold back. This is an avalanche. Stay. Stay. Dick. All right. So this is the one of the big ticket items they're selling at the convention. It is hopefully not too difficult to see because I know the lighting in here. I haven't figured out the lighting in this room yet. Um, let me know if you think I should go light. If I should have more light in here, and I'll try to figure something out. But for now, this is the best I can do. I'm sorry. But again, hopefully you can see it. Um, maybe I'll cut to a better image of it if it turns out in editing. You can't see it very well, but this is a Megazord pop that's in black and gold. Looks very nice. Um, debating keeping it in the box just because of how good it looks, but this is awesome. I love this, and it's exclusive to that convention, so that's pretty cool. Next up is another VHS. This one I didn't buy there at the convention, but I brought there for the sake of what you're about to see. Uh, this is the Power Rangers the Movie VHS, and about half the cast members were going to, over half actually now that I think about it, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, over half the cast members were at the convention, so I felt, you know, gotta get it signed. Um, I'll try to bring it in closer there. I got it signed by the Red Ranger, who I previously, you know, got something signed here. The Red Ranger, the Yellow Ranger, and the Black Ranger, who signed here that he, his famous sign from the movie, I'm a Frog. I'm a Frog. Jason David Frank, who plays Tommy Oliver, was also at the convention, but his lines were insane. They were taking up half the convention, and he was charging quite a bit of money for his signature. Uh, not that I have any, you know, fault in that, you know. I appreciate the fact that he was there. Uh, my problem for me was that he's been at the local convention here in Arizona this year and last year, and it wasn't as expensive then. So I figured I would just hold off and get him to sign it when he comes back to Phoenix. And I've already met the guy. I'll probably put a picture around here somewhere of me meeting him. But I've already met him, so it was not as high on my priority list of getting his signature yet. Uh, but all I will need is him, the Blue Ranger, which again, I've already met and didn't think of this until after, years after he had left. And the Pink Ranger, who I'll probably never get to see. I don't think she's ever done a convention in the area, but who knows? Hopefully I'll get the entire cast to sign this. So one of my favorite things about conventions like these is meeting celebrities, actors, cast members, things like this that are involved in your favorite fandoms, in this case, Power Rangers. So a lot of times the actors will have booths that you can go to and talk to them, chit chat, get something signed, get a picture with them, whatever. I did that a lot and they will do a montage of the photos I got at the end of this. Um, but one guy from one of the more recent series of Power Rangers, um, Dino Charge, came in unannounced. Uh, he wasn't on any of the guest list, but he showed up on the last day and had his own booth and you can talk to him and chit chat. And that was, he was really, he was a really, really cool guy. Um, I'll probably put a picture here somewhere 
with him. I made a comment that he's really tall, and he was kind enough to duck down for me, so I seemed less short. Super nice guy. But then he offered to get to sign something for me after I took my picture. Well, I didn't have anything to sign. So he offered to sign my badge. He drew a little picture of himself there and his signature saying that it was great to meet me. And that was, that was, that was a really kind thing to him to do. He didn't have to do that, um, but he did. And I really appreciate the fact that he did. That was super kind. It was a pleasure to meet him as well. Next up is another Lord Draken related item. Uh, I guess it was a big year for that character, and one of the things they did is release an action figure for him. This is another thing that came with my ticket, sort of. Well, he's buying a ticket, gave the opportunity to buy it, so I did. Um, it's got some really awesome artwork on there of him sitting on his throne, and here it is. So apparently there's a lot of artic articulation on this figure. And he's got both Saba and, actually you can probably see it on the back here as well, he has both Saba and the Green Dragon Dagger, which is really cool. This is something I'm definitely not going to take out of the box, because I like the look of the box and the awesome artwork on it, and the fact that it's showing off the 25th anniversary there. So this is something I'm going to keep in its box, not necessarily for collector's value, but because the whole package just looks a lot cooler than I could possibly pose him in my background somewhere, so that is really cool. Here's yet another item that came with my ticket. I got a t-shirt. Uh, there you go there. It's the same image as that poster from earlier with Lord Draken, the Red Ranger, and the other Red Ranger from Beast Morphers. Hopefully I'm giving you a good shot of it there. Uh, it looks really soft, and it's got the Power Morphicon logo on the back. Definitely will be wearing this in the future. Uh, you'll be seeing this on future Jack Sack episodes. It's really nice. Now this is something that I'm really excited about. Um, I don't talk about it very often because there's not really much of a reason for it to come up, but I really like pen and paper tabletop role-playing games. So when I saw this, I had to pick it up. It is a pen and paper role-playing game for Sentai. Now in case you don't know what Sentai is, it Super Sentai is a long-running Japanese TV show of superheroes in bright spandex costumes fighting rubber monsters. Sound familiar? Well, it's basically um, Power Rangers. That's, there's no other way to say it. It's basically Power Rangers. Uh, what Power Rangers is, is that it takes this existing Japanese show, all that are under the umbrella of Super Sentai, and it takes the in-costume fight scenes and dubs over them with American actors. And all of the out-of-costume scenes, where it's the English-speaking actors, are obviously new footage. So it's basically kind of like an adaption of Super Sentai. So this takes those tropes and ideas and turns it into a pen and paper role-playing game. I am very excited to give this a try for some nice, cheesy, hammy Power Rangers action. And hopefully, I, you know what I'll do? Once I have my first game, I'll make a video telling you guys how it went. Because this is... A really cool idea. Um, the people I talked to were super nice when I discussed the game with them. And I'll try and put some social media in the description down below. So you can get, if you're interested, you can take a look at picking this up as well. Getting to the bottom of my stuff here. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay it all out. So we can take a look at it together. So like any good convention, it came with pins. So I got a couple of these 25th anniversary pins here. I have a second one. Now those come standard with my ticket, but also I get two mystery pins. I don't know what these are yet. We're going to find them out together. Since it's been a while since I've done a mystery Funko Pop episode, don't worry, that's already filmed. I just need to edit it. Um, probably end up being a double feature though, considering I'm filming this in September and the August episode hasn't come out yet. It is coming. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm sorry. But Tidy over, here's some mystery pins. All right, first one is, bum, bum, bum. ooh, this is nice. It is the Red Ranger from the upcoming Beast Morpher series. Uh, the trailer for that series looks really, really good. I am very excited about it. Uh, can't wait to start watching that next year. And now for the second pin. Let's see what we got here. Oh. 
I mean, that's cool, I guess. It's another Red Ranger pen, so I got two of the same. It was a little bit of a bummer, because there's a variety of options. I would like to get one that's not the same, but you know what? That's what happens with mysteries. Sometimes you get what you want, sometimes you get the same thing. So I will admit, these are really cool. I like them a lot, despite having more than one. And the last things we got here are coins. These are really, really cool Draken coins. It's got his symbol there on the back. I have a gold and a silver, I think. I think that's what these colors are supposed to be. The coins are the same, just the colors of the coin is, is different. And they have a bit of weight to them. They're a nice, hefty coin. See, hear that? They got some good weight to them. And they're very high quality. That concludes all the actual stuff I got at the convention. Here is a montage of photos I got at the convention. Take it away, montage. wraps up the photo montage and wraps up this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for that Mystery Funko Pop double feature. That will be coming shortly. Thank you so much again for watching. Take care. All right, like with any good convention, it came with pins. So mine automatically came with a couple of these 25th. Let's try that again.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I have enjoyed making it. If you haven't done so, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and then go ahead and click the bell icon afterwards. That will allow you to know as soon as my next video comes out for each and every video. You should definitely check out my Twitter. It's going to be here somewhere on screen. And if you do, you'll be able to check out the next viewer's choice poll when that comes out. Thank you so much again for watching, and feel free to click one of the videos down here to see even more of my content. Thanks again.